we're looking at a game at Clark High School playoff game. It's Cimarron 7, Clark 6. Tight contest. We had a couple plays here in the first half from both teams, Sean. Yeah, we got some explosive athletes. We haven't really gotten them in space as much as probably either coach would like, but we have had some turnovers, as you see. The initial one by Clark on the first play of the game for them, but Mikhail Curry had a huge impact early. Matthew Sewell found himself away into the end zone for the lone Cimarron touchdown. And this just is a great play. Remember, Pinter Santiago, first varsity start, is in today's playoff game as he cut next with Julian Fuller there for the touchdown. That was a big touchdown catch there by Fuller. We're going to take another quick break. When we get back, Alex White will have the head coach of Clark. Uh, he did throw two touchdown passes last week, so he can throw it. That's for sure. We haven't seen it in this game yet. Here is Arnick Ostraveka kicking off now for Simran to start the second half. Back deep, bang speed, and Julian Fuller, the two big playmakers for Clark. Ostravica has shown a strong leg for Cimarron. Waiting to get cleared to go, and we are clear for the second half. Ostravica's kick is pounded back to the five. It'll take a bounce, and it does hit the, the goal line and will be a touchback. It just sounds different when he... The southpaw. Hand off to Bank Speed. Nowhere to go, though. The Cimarron defense is up to the task. Got to take your hat off to the Spartans' front for really battling. Snap is over Santiago's head, and he is going to be taken down inside the 10 at the 6-yard line for a big loss. A lot. You know, this has got to be tough yeah. on the center. This is something we haven't even talked about today, Kenny, because the quarterback all season... For Clark was Brian Humans. He's listed at 6'3. Down and forever. 21. And it's speed up the middle. You coach reader, you're like, why couldn't we get that on first down when we ran this play? <laughs> right. <laughs> Two good punters here tonight. Petty puts it up high. Takes a nice Clark bounce. Will roll inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. And that's where Matthew Sua, he's going to keep it himself. Design run in. He's pushed late out of bounds. This is going to be... Sua was definitely out of bounds. Or not. It definitely is out of bounds. It's yeah. definitely deserving of a 15-yard penalty. Have the replay. Hand off straight away on his head. He drops back, looks deep down the right sideline, and just over. Older for if you watch the end of this, you see his hand is extended, Kenny, and it's on his shoulder. That's right when he took it off. Quarter. Sua hands to Curry. Curry finds a little bit of a crease in that. Right off to the Chargers run defense. They've really done a good job of stifling McKeel Curry since that. And six from the 46. Sua rolling left. He is going to keep it himself again on that keeper. And he is met at the 44, taken down. It's really, I hope so. That was Fuller on the tackle. Here's Sua with the screen pass out to his running back. And it's a good play. It's a big play inside the 30 down to the 25 yard line. A big pick. On Cimarron and face mask on Clark. But I could be wrong. There are two flags on the play, Kenny. That was Samaj Duffy, number 23. I haven't seen a lot from him tonight. Sua gives it to Curry. That's not Curry. This is McDuffie again. And I out LVT. At the 36. Out to the flat. This is Jabril Patterson. And a bit under that. Left in this first round playoff game. And that, that's a great play right there. No penalties, no turnovers. Yeah, by ball snapped. Sue with a handoff. This is Curry back, and Curry down in two. Big third down here. Probably two down territory, Sean. Yeah, I would imagine, especially, you know, Sue so with Curry behind him. Curry's going to get it, and he's going to get the first down here, and he's inside the 25 to the 24. 
his track star speed, but he is also a downhill runner. A little shot here. Sua, this is a handoff to, to Hill, and Hill breaks the tackle. He's into the secondary, inside the 15, down to the 11. Impressive. You know, we were told about Curry coming into the game, but Hill and McDuffie have been effective as well. Hill, a sophomore. They have him listed at 5'5", right now. K.J. Hill was here. Handoff again to Hill. He's got room to run, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. What a spark he's given this team. Yeah, I mean, you know, he doesn't look big. He just looks like he looks real determined. Like he, he... And the snap is down, but this kick is hooked. The last game was so close, and, you know, we, we lost on the final kick, and so it was nice that the Spartans have an opportunity. Instead of reacting. Second down and eight. I like the way that Pinto San Diego did grab that football and did get some positive yardage. And here is... Every time he gets the ball, there are multiple hats around the football. He's got to get that ball secure, Kenny. Get it secure. And what to do is give it back to Cimarron. Your defense was on the field for a while. And I think this was a broken play. But look at look at this by, by Pinto Santiago. He Pintor Santiago tonight. He hadn't got frustrated. When things have gone wrong, his body language hadn't changed. He stayed positive. He looks confident. That's a great point. That's a 17. It's a CSN first down. Victor Santiago throws. He has got bank speed open down the side. That is a 26-yard pickup on the wheel route. They're down to the two wide receivers to the left. Bank speed in the backfield. San Diego's going to keep it on his own here and pick up a couple. Here we go. And it is bank speed with the, with the Wildcats. A big run by Speed. He breaks the tackle. He's inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line. Well, the timeout was worth it this tonight. I mean, you, they've got to score on this drive. I right? got to get this game tied up. Put that pressure back on the Spartan sideline. Beautiful run by Bank run by Bank Speed. He takes his team inside the UPS store red zone, and they're going to give it right back to him. Why not? Simran expecting the run, and it is the run again. Bank Speed back to the line of scrimmage, taken down. Might have lost a yard. 11. Third and 11. Pinto Santiago throws into the end zone. He's got a guy. It is Bank Speed. Touchdown. Clark High School. You got a He's just tuning in. This is his first L level. Ice running through those veins. Throws it up for Bank Speed. To Great catch. High point too. that and yeah. a touchdown by Bank Speed. Great catch by Bank. Snap is down. The kick is up and the kick is. Ever since we've been together, and it's been a great experience for me. As we said, in our second year of doing the uh, Thursday Night Lights, I don't think we've had an overtime game yet. Free football. Yeah. Not yet. I don't think so. I don't believe we have. The rules in overtime, each team starts in the 10-yard line. We sit tied up in the fourth quarter. We'll see what team can come through tonight. A line drive kick. I believe this is number two, Patterson, and it is. He is out past the 30, past the 40, and finally corralled. A kick returned by Patterson. Flags everywhere on this play. We got K.J. Hill back. So problems with the snap, and this is going to be a sack. Kind of took his eyes off of it. It was a little high, but it was one of those where you know, I think he thought he had it and didn't. Remember, we talked about who can play a clean game, Ken. Yeah. Minimum switching here tonight at Clark. Boy, can you ever. Kids are starting to believe. The fans are starting to believe. By the way, this band is outstanding. Yeah, they were good. And we've seen some good bands this year, man. They that's Hill in the backfield next to Sua. He's going to throw, and it's complete, and it's a first down. And big cut, but it's fumbled and picked up by Clark at the 40-yard line. Alluding to it all night, haven't I, Kenny? Yes, you have. Both teams, skill guys, doing the same thing. That ball is loose, not chinned. I said the minute that someone got their hand on it, that ball was going on the ground. And that's what happened. Clark got their hand on it and recovers the fumble. Deshaun Tolliver. San Diego, back to pass. He saw the, the pass rush coming. He gets it out to the wide receiver, and they pick up positive yardage. There's 13-13. It's third and one here in the fourth quarter. This is bank speed taking the center snap and into. First down 
for the Chargers. There are no blockers out there, so it wasn't in design. Yeah. Uh, they've been close to getting some more delay of games. Oh, thought he was going to pass it, throw it away at this point. And he does. Deep, empty set backfield, three to the right, and he is sacked. He was trying to find a guy downfield, beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight, 24 18. Welcome to Thursday Night Lights. It is 13 13 with the Clark Chargers driving into Simmons territory at the 31. Pass is complete. There's room down the sideline, a broken tackle, and just pushed out of bounds, I think, at about the 8 yard line. That's some big plays tonight. He's been all over the place. He's got an interception. He's got a 43 yard touchdown catch yeah, tonight. Probably another five, six, seven catches to go with that. Stepped out at the 11 yard line. We are in the UPS store red zone. A great in the Wildcat. Takes the snap up the middle, breaks one tackle, and then. Thanks, we picked up the low snap. Remember, mentioned it several times. That was Gary, Greg Hinkle, the Cimarron coach, getting his defense fired up. Brennan Banks speed into the inside the five down to the 11. They spotted it inside the 10. They've had more success running on the perimeter than they have in between. A couple of these snaps have been. Wildcat quarterback. He's going to throw it, and he does. High deep in the, in the corner of the end zone. Thought they were having success running the ball against Cimarron. Here's the snap. This, it is down, and the kick is up, and it is good. And the kick by Petty is a line drive kick to an up back, and that is number 22. That's an explosive athlete to K.J. Hill, and he takes it across midfield. They've got a kicker of their own in Ostravica. I didn't see a helmet to helmet there. Yeah, I, it came to the back. Look at the defense over, takes the snap, handoff. Yep, so is going to keep it. You know, earlier in the game, Samaj McDuffie and, of course, Mikhail Curry. You know. All the mainstays, Patterson, Westbrooks. Screen pass. Action Patterson now to the right. Our end zone offense as we listen to coach. Reggie McCall. As the quarterback take off, you go there. Defensive coordinator for the Chargers. You got hooked. Not right behind each other. If he's throwing it, he's going deep on the outside, and he's trying to hit three across the middle. This is almost Julie, that should be a pick. He just two down territory, right? I, I, if I'm I agree. on the Cimarron sideline, I'm not afraid to hand this ball to Curry or KJ Hill and, you know, get it in the fourth and manageable. See if they can make something happen. But I guess the last time when they threw it to Jaron Westbrooks, it was a pretty good play till he fumbled. I'm going to a three cloud look. I'd definitely be running this football. You got the right box count, yeah. And off to Hill. Absolutely. Hill's got room to run, and he takes it down to the 26-yard line. I think that's the right play call. You know, based on the way that Clark is playing defense, I, I'd have a check with me right here, Kenny, and be willing to run the same. Yeah, because they just don't have enough people in the box right here to account for it. If he gets that block on number nine, I mean, that's a huge run. Still got the right. Or Cimarron. Box count here to run the ball. Hill in motion. Out to the left. The pass over the middle is complete. <laughs> and a broken tackle down to the 10. Inside the 5. To the 2. <laughs> About six or seven targets. This is the first time it's resulted in a completion. What a throw. And a catch and a run. Yeah, man. What a play by Matthew Sewell. And this is kind of where... Coach Reader and his staff burning better to just let Cimarron <laughs> score right here so you have more time. I agree. Oh, high snap. Sewer keeps it. He's up the middle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Matthews. Snap is down. The kick is up, and it is good. The hat on right here is, what am I doing with the kickoff? They have a big kicker, so I'm probably going to kick it deep, but I'm going to tell the kicker, I want it on the numbers to the sideline. I, I want to take away half the field with the kick. Don't kick it down the middle so the returner has a two-way go. Brendan Banks-Speed and Julian Fuller will be the deep men.
for Clark. Arnick Ostravico, you just saw kick that extra point through, will be the kickoff man. Two fifteen to go. Our first playoff game. Here's the kick. Oh, he kicked it, it down the up, middle. He did kick it down the middle. Taken by, I believe this is Fuller. Fuller down the sideline. He's across midfield and still going down inside the 40-yard line. That is Julian Fuller. Don't kick, kick it, it down, the, down middle. the middle. You don't want to get this guy a two-way go. Positional kick it. Great blocking and Fuller with a little spin move to get him a couple of extra. Diago. Santiago is looking for a touchdown in the first play. But <laughs> All right, there we go. There up. we go. Second and ten. Put to Santiago again. He gets hit as he throws, and it's almost intercepted. Same fan in the country just went, oh, my gosh. I mean, this is exactly what happened to Notre Dame against Ohio State, right? Yes. Oh, man, you got to make that play if you're West. Your coach Reader, you've had so much success with the QB run stuff with with, with bank speed. I yes. might not even go quick. A long way to go. Uh, thirty some yards, thirty one yards to the end zone. Well, if they don't get it, this is over. This is they can't stop the clock. They can't yeah. stop the clock. They're running the sweep this way. Oh, motion, okay. Motion pitcher San Diego. He, he ran the wheel route. Zone. Oh, oh, bank speed. <laughs> and it's a touchdown by the <laughs> We're not going for the first down. This is that same wheel route that they've won with so much success. This time, great throw by Pinto Santiago. Oh, my. How about the confidence in the coach with Pinto Santiago? Oh, man. Brendan Banks speed was able to get behind defense this time. But this guy play call before the timeout. Oh, it was not. You're right. Petty on for the kick. Point after. It is up. Time playing quarterback at the varsity level ever. On fourth and three. First round of the playoffs. Throws a dime. That was everything, <laughs> he, everything he had in that. They'll prevent. They rush three and no pressure on the quarterback. And uh, it prevents you from winning. Swing pass out to Curry. We're going to try to get in into the open and make a play, but nothing happening there. Who's that? Deshaun Tolliver came up. Yeah, good job. Damn. Look, my two guys right here. Look, y'all are going to play hook. Season coming down to end. That is Curry swinging out. Sua looks, throws. It's tipped. Incomplete. Not used to throwing it. Your success rate will be better there running the ball. And I know you got quarterback. Let's see what he can do here for Cimarron. Great he is rush. pressured. Great rush. Rolling to his left. He picks up part of the yardage, but no. Driven out of bounds. Where's the, the four? This is going to be close, Kenny. Oh, my goodness. Well, they've got to get lined up, though, because the clock. Oh, no, it's out of bounds. Okay. That's at the 43 yard line. That was. Oh my goodness! Well, they got to get lined up though, because the clock. Oh no, it's out of bounds. Okay. That's at the 43-yard line. It would be a 42-yarder. Here he is, Sua pass. It's an out pass. So they can get up there to spike it. I don't think you can. In the I don't know if they have enough time. Pass to the out. Got to get out of bounds at the 25. No other choice. Ray Ellis. With the catch, <laughs> takes it inside the 25. Oh my goodness. It's a 42 yarder by Ostravica. The snap is down, the kick is blocked, it is low. The Clark Chargers are going to win. <laughs> what, a great, what a great game. Both teams very deserving of the win tonight. The Clark Chargers celebrating, and why not? A Big victory for this program to move on to the next round of the playoffs. Man, congratulations to.
Dumain Reader. An amazing game. We picked the right playoff game to have here on Thursday Night Lights. Let's give out our MVP. I think they all know who it is going to. Diano Pintor Santiago. That's so awesome. Coach, I want to just ask you really quick, how proud are you of this team for getting that win? I'm very proud of this team. Uh, uh, we've always been one team, one mind, be one heartbeat with a finale mentality. Failure is not an option. And these guys showed that what we set the foundation of this program on since day one as being the head coach is that come whatever it is, next man up. Dunny stepped up tonight and did an amazing job. Uh, speed stepped up, O-line stepped up, defense played lights out. But uh, overall, this is a team effort, and for us, it's just a family finale mentality. That's what we stand on going into the next round, and that's we'll always hang our head on because failure is not an option. Well, congratulations, guys. Great win. Go ahead. The Clark Chargers, they're moving on to the next round. There you have it, folks. One of the best games we've had this year. Touchdown with three minutes to go in the football game to win it for the Clark Charge, ending this game into overtime. The entire crew for Sean King, for Alex White, for everyone in the truck, the cameraman, the audio hey, team, hey, hey. video. Great job tonight. Stay tuned. Remember, next Friday night, 6 p.m., here on MyLV TV, will be another playoff edition of football.